last month when I was in the future, you may be seeing some monthly reset goal check-in videos from me. So this is what that video is. So welcome. A lot of people by the end of January have kind of lost motivation to continue with their goals and I don't want that to happen to me and so this is this is what I'm doing to prevent that from happening. I wanted to kind of like go over my goals, see how I'm doing with each of them and talk about like some things that I want to work on for this coming month. To start off with I want to show you this handy little the aspiring bullet journaler in me um had a lot of fun making this i mean it's just a bunch of like little charts that i can fill in just like but basically i've taken this sheet of paper and i've written out all my goals in such a way that i can track them easily and i just keep this paper on my nightstand and every night before i go to bed i just like check off and see to see how i'm doing this has been a really effective way for me so far to be like keeping track of my goals and it just makes me happy and I used it, some colorful markers and everything. Um, I just wanted to mention this because it has really helped me to kind of like be more aware of my goals on a more regular slash daily basis. So if you think something like this might help you, I would encourage you to make up one of these little charts for yourself. Taking a look at this chart, let's see how I'm doing with my goals. My first goal of the year was to work out three times a week. The first week I did pretty good. These workouts, the workout three times a week, I want to be like my own thing, like a planned thing, like either like a workout video on YouTube, a workout class, going down to the gym, doing something that's like very intentional where I'm like, this is my workout and I'm doing it for me. So first week, okay. Second week, I was not feeling good. So I worked out once, that's okay. After that week where I only worked out once, I was like, you know what? For the rest of the month, I'm gonna be on top of my game. I'm gonna work out three times a week. And so I did. I, I've gone back and forth between like going down to the gym and running on the treadmill and doing like a little dance workout thing on YouTube. I will have some of those dance workout videos linked down below in the description box if you're looking for anything like that, if you like that kind of workout. Okay, my second goal for the year is to read 20 books this year. So far I have read two books so if things continue with this pace I will surpass my goal so that's great that's awesome. The two books that I read this month were As Long As The Lemon Trees Grow and Book Lovers. As Long As The Lemon Trees Grow is about like the Syrian revolution and it's about this young couple trying to leave Syria so that they don't have to live among this war um, with all of this devastation around them and just be safe <laughs> and live a long life. It was very, very good. It reminded me in many ways of the book Thief. That theme of like human resilience that even in the worst of times when you're surrounded by this like terrible thing happening all around you, people can get through that and like there's always hope and like it had a very similar vibe to the book Thief. So it was a beautiful book. I really loved it. Highly recommend it. The second book that I read is Book Lovers. It's a cute little rom-com about a couple who's like in the book publishing industry. I thought it was cute. It's an enemies to lovers slash nobody really understands me but you kind of love story. Yeah, it's a rom-com. It's a romance. My third goal is to post 50 long YouTube videos. In the month of January, I posted three. Could have been better. Could have been better. I'm still feeling a little bit of kind of like negative self-talk whenever like getting back into the long video, long form video game. So the fact that I was, that I posted three is good for me. Goal number four is to get a tattoo or another set of ear piercings. I haven't done that yet. That'll be for another month, but it will happen this year. Goal number five is to learn to take better care of my skin. What have I done? in the month of January to take better care of my skin. Honestly, not much. I didn't really think about this goal <laughs> until like the last week or so, but I read somewhere that like a list of a bunch of different foods that you can eat to kind of help with your skin. And on that list was like, and things like, you know, salmon and like there was like brazil nuts was on the list cranberries i have been eating cranberries every day so like i just like mix that in with my oatmeal every morning for breakfast that just a little little tiny tiny uh step towards like learning about what's good for my skin this next month i want to like focus on drinking more water because I feel like my skin has been really, really dry. And so I think just drinking more water will help a lot with that. And then I also want to find like a really good like moisturizer for my skin. 
because it's been really dry. I'm gonna do those two things this month. Goal number six was to spend 10 minutes cleaning up my home, keeping things tidy every day. And if you look at my little chart thing that I made, I did really well with this one. I missed four or five days, one, two, three, four, five days in the whole month of January, which if you ask me is really good because this is like one of those goals that I want to be part of my normal re routine. I want this to become a habit, right? This one I just took to really quickly and I feel really happy about that. Goal number seven is to take a break from my phone, to turn it off, do not touch it for the first week of every month. This month, I did pretty good. I stayed off of my phone for the first like five days of January. And then once the weekend rolled around and I had more spare time on my hands, it was just really hard not to spend some of that time on my phone. And honestly, it felt really good to spend five days off of my phone. It's the first of February, right? And so, <laughs> I forgot. Honestly, I forgot about it this morning. This month, it's looking like I'm gonna go six out of the seven days. But hey, six is better than five. Reach out to friends and family more. Did I do this one? Yes, I feel pretty good about this one. I had lunch with my friends twice this month. I had my cousin over for dinner this month. I had my siblings over for dinner last week. And today, well, it is today. Actually, it's February, not January. But today, I had lunch with my mom. And so we have restarted our book group. We have a little book discussion group that we have in every week for lunch. We have book we're reading plans to continue every week for the rest of the month. And I feel like... I like having people over. I'd rather have people come over to my house to do things. Like I like going out to lunch. I like going to see people at their place or whatever. The introvert in me, the homebody in me just feels a little bit more comfortable. I, I'm not sure if comfortable is the right word, but like, I'm not, I just enjoy having people over. I enjoy making food for people. Do I get stressed out like cleaning and making food for people and stuff? Like, yeah, yeah, that's a little bit stressful. I feel a little a little bit anxious, but I'm going to feel a little bit stressed and a little bit anxious whether I'm going to meet people somewhere else or whether they come here. At least if they're coming here, I can be doing things with that stress, you know, like I can be cleaning, I can be making food. With this goal moving forward, I think I want to have people over here more often. I feel good about that. I also want to address my themes for 2020. I don't know why that's funny to me right now, but it is. But I want to address the themes that I was at for this year of confident, calm, and balance. Did I feel confident in January? No. I think I just need to take better care of myself and that would make me feel more confident. Um, I was feeling very low in January, just like emotionally, mentally, just kind of low. I wasn't taking care of myself as much as I should. And two things that I think will help me feel better taken care of, in turn will hopefully help me feel a little bit more confident in myself. Um, the two things I want to do are like I want to cook myself dinner more. I was relying a lot on like frozen pizza, cereal, canned soup. Like really easy, fast dinners, but with really fast and easy dinners, like they just aren't very good for you and I can feel it. So I want to cook an actual balanced, somewhat healthy meal and then like one soup every week. Cause I figure soup lasts a couple of days so I can just like reheat that and at least it's easy, but it's also healthy. Yeah, I want to cook for myself more. And the second thing that I want to do to take better care of myself is this also benefits George, but I want to take George on a walk every day during lunch. Cause I think the fresh air helps when there is sunlight. That also really helps. And I want to do those things to kind of help help me feel more confident and to help me feel more confident. I feel like I'm over doing it. And then for the calm slash balance, these ones I'm kind of combining because I don't want to get overwhelmed. But the thing that I want to do that I think will help with the calm and the balance is that I want to make sure that I journal every single day this month. I'm pretty good about journaling. I usually journal like four or five days every week. This month I want to do it every single day without fail. I think that will help with the calm and the balance and the... <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so those that's my little goal check-in my plans for February. I hope you enjoyed checking in with me um, and my goals and keeping me accountable with my goals. I hope this inspires you to check in with any goals you may have set at the beginning of the year. If you didn't set goals at the beginning of this year, maybe you want to set goals. I don't know, but I hope you enjoy it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and if you like me, subscribe to my channel, but I'm going to see you next time. Bye!